Thank you, morning and afternoon. So, we just finished the morning tape, now we're going to talk about lunch and what we'll be talking about. Now, I need you to understand the basic principles. The most important principle for you, for right now, is to eat small, frequent meals. Start doing that. Cut your sandwich in half, whatever you're eating. Cut the meal in half, use a smaller plate, save some for a little bit later. We have a trick with Nolan. Nolan is two years old, and Taryn, is, we did the trick too. Cheers, of course, and they'll always cheers with us. Babies can understand cheers. Well, I say cheers to God as well. Thank you, God, for this great body. And if I drink the water first, then half of my meal works. So whatever meals you're having, wherever you're having them, have less. Take it home, you know, etc. Restaurants give you five times what you need, so you can divide that into five meals. I'm splitting the bar up, and I'm, you know, I don't know if you want to watch me cut up a bar. It isn't hard. A serrated knife, you just cut through the plastic. Now we've got half a bar. Okay, so that I can go ahead and eat that. Eat it very slowly. Have lots of water. Mary Lou takes her bars to Starbucks and has her coffee. We use decaf coffee. I'm an old guy. Old guys have to be careful with caffeine. You have to be careful with caffeine. Warning about that. Your coffee and donut in the morning, your coffee and starch, whatever it is, caffeine and, and starchy carb, will cause or can cause a rebound 12 hours later. Anytime you have alcohol to feel good, you're going to feel bad later. When you have caffeine to feel good, you can feel bad later. If you have caffeine to suppress your appetite, you may indeed get a stronger appetite. A lot of people have trouble at night, and that's partly because they had the coffee and donuts for breakfast. So don't do that. Sorry, Starbucks. That's just wrong stuff. Okay, the important part, all right, so it's frequent eating, small eating, and in our program, to do it really well, you're having perfectly balanced, medically formulated meals. These are 100 calorie meals. Go try to find a bar that's 100 calories. Now what you could do is find a balanced bar, or there's other kinds of bars that you could split in half, because they're 200 calorie bars. They're not as fluffy as the, the Metafast bars. They are not as dense. They don't satisfy as much. They don't satisfy the chewing. They don't have whatever. But, and if you want to, so in my program, I'd have to cut those 200 calorie bars into fourths. I'm doing 50 calories 12 times a day you'll be doing 100 calories, but the meals are interchangeable. You can have soup for breakfast if you want to. You can have pudding for breakfast if you want to. I had pudding for breakfast. We're going to show you some nice tricks about the pudding. These are all 100 calorie meals. The protein carb ratio is about one to one. It's about 10 grams of each. Metafast is a 40-40-20 program. The zone diet that I preached forever was 40-30-30. Carbohydrate, protein, fat. Metafast is balancing the protein and the carbs and then the fat is very low. This is a very low fat. Protein sparing modified fast. We have the right amount of protein to keep your muscles and the right amount of carb to keep your, the rest of the systems flowing and to give you the nutrients you need. This program has been used in the Johns Hopkins fasting program. I don't know what they're using now, but I know that I've talked to people. So that there are these programs, the hospital-based programs where you have 800 pound people, you, have, you know, uh, and sometimes they use six and zero instead of five and one but all of them are interchangeable. So the shake is interchangeable with the soup, is interchangeable with a bar, and is interchangeable with the eggs. So whichever way you want to go, that's, that's the important thing. Look, study the nutrition label on the back of the bar. Take it in and see if you can find a commercial bar. You can't. I can't. I look and look and look. You can't find commercial bars. So this is a fasting program. This is a 850 to 1,000 calorie protein sparing modified fast. It's low calorie, not very low calorie. In the hospital you can do 500 calories, that's very low calorie. As an outpatient with a coach or just even by yourself you can do 800 to 1000 calories. Little warning here though, the reason you need coaching every day when you first start is between 1000 and 1200 calories is quote no man's land. We have a great book called Success in a Shaker Jar. It was the older book that, that, was, that Mary Jane used when she was coaching. Mary Jane is one of our superstars. You'll see her picture. And Mary Jane had this amazing coach who talked to her about no man's land. Getting through that 1,200 to 1,000 is the important thing. Getting into fat burning and then staying there. Just say no to people who want to give you to break you out of that. You're uncomfortable. Your brain likes sugar. The rest of your body is fine with ketones, which is the products of fat burning. But your brain really likes sugar. It does. So it's going to be grouchy. It can be grouchy. Many people don't feel anything at all when they go through the first three or four days. I don't really feel that grouchy, but a number of people have. So you're warned. 
be a little bit careful. And once you're into the fat burning, stay there. It's very easy in this country to flip out of it, and then you're forced back through that painful no man's land again. So get to your program and then do the program. It's far, far easier. All of the people who we've been successful with just got there and stayed there. I did have a few people who would transition on slowly. If you can't afford it, if you, whatever, for whatever reason, you, I'll help you transition on slowly. Most people just start. They get ready, they read the materials, they look at the right time, and then they do it. And they get through into fat burning and they get it done. This is the most rapid, healthy form of weight loss and the least expensive for the amount of weight you lose. You can spend less money in a whole bunch of other ways, but you're not going to lose as much weight and you're not going to be as healthy and you're not going to be as comfortable. This is the right way to do it. This is an advanced program and we're showing you more advanced tricks. All right. Um, I have eggs for breakfast and I have shake for lunch and then I have soups. Now, I make Mary Lewis soup. We actually take out two of our little containers here and uh, I put in a cup and it isn't, the cup isn't as important. These things are marked. These are three cup round Ziploc containers. I love them. I do put in a little bit of olive oil just because I am balancing my oil throughout the day. You don't have to do that. You can put all of your oil in one meal with your salmon or whatever. I, I want, I'm trained in the zone program where you're balancing each of your little meals. These are fine for the protein and carb, but a little bit of fat is fine. So have some almonds, maybe as your snack. You'll see some of the healthy snacks. I want you to look at those snacks, the condiments. There's stuff to study here, and you've got a quick start guide now to be reading and reading and reading, because that's the Bible, and it's the first half of the quick start guide. It's only eight pages. Go through that and memorize it. Mary Lou should be able to ask you, what's on page four? <laughs> what's at the top of page four? And you should be able to know, and that way you can, you, you, we don't need to answer questions that are already in that particular book. That's very simple, but it's really an amazing book. All right, you put in a cup, and then you just put in the soup. Now. She likes it two minutes, then she puts in her crackers and she puts in broccoli or she puts in other fibrous carbs. Um, I sometimes put in tuna fish. I'm spreading my meals out and even my protein out throughout the day. That if I have egg beaters instead of the eggs, for example, that's a higher protein. If you're not on, well, you're going, let's not even go if. So she puts a little bit of, of uh, crackers in here, she puts a little bit of broccoli in here. Um, and then she heats it all up again, and it's just delicious. It's really a nice soup. I like it that way as well, but I also have crunchy soup. <laughs> you can, uh, when I'm out, if I'm way out, I take a couple packages of soup and a couple packages of shakes. So I'm never without food, and this is high-quality food to me. I'm kind of fussy. This is Dr. Vitale's old stuff. The original Metafast program had very few products designed by Dr. Vitale. The modern stuff is the bars and is the shakes and other things. I use them and I like them. They're great. But I try to make sure I balance them. I try to have the, the soy protein isolate. I try to have the original Metafast material as well. So for the afternoon, now I have made the brownies and the brownies are really, really good. You have to stir them up. You make them really thick. I'm not going to make you a brownie, and, but I'm sure I can find one over here. Well, look at this. Brownies, but we have the uh, cookies, right? So these are wonderful, and uh, you, they come with a little um, container. So, and this one, this was fun. They told me three, ta three tablespoons of water. This one said two tablespoons of water. What's the difference? Well, I use my standard tablespoon, and you just, you know, anything you want. I kind of like this one, but. It makes, I'm now using two tablespoons of water with the brownies and make it very, very thick. You take about oh, a minute or so and stir it and it becomes a very thick ball of thick cookie dough. Then that flattens and is just perfect. That's what you do when you're making the cookies, but I like it even when I'm making the brownies. So if I'm here, then I'll have a brownie for the afternoon meal. It's easy to remember for me, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, whenever that's happening. So at 6 in the morning, anywhere between 6 and 9, I have the first meal. Between 9 and 12, I have the second meal. 12 and 3, I have the third meal. So it's 3, 6, 9, 12. That's how I go. Now, as I told you, I'm actually cutting it down so that I have half of these meals so that I can eat every hour whenever the hour says. And that's, that trick lets me delay. Let's me to, you know, I'll just have a big glass of water and delay. That's a part of what you're going to be doing. 
have a big glass of water, delay your food. You're not going to die. Don't be anxious. I'm very anxious that I'm not going to make it if I'm not fed every hour or every three hours or whatever. So I, I, I make it so far. It's been all right. So we have a brownie in the afternoon. I have a second shake if I want to. And if, um, if it's at all possible, usually in the morning, I'll take some kale and a magic bullet. This is our really wonderful magic bullet. So this plus, and you see there's green smoothie philosophy I made four cakes before. You put in four or five, well actually I put in, I just pack it loosely. Wash off the kale and put it in here and put in maybe an inch or an inch and a half of water and, and blend it for about 10 seconds or 15 seconds and you'll chop up this amazing high quality food. This is the best of the greens. So that you've got now a kind of a sludge of water in here. Now put a shake in, put in five or six ice cubes and do it again. It is just glorious. It's the highest nutrition I, I know. It's really a fun additional shake. These are the green smoothies. Green smoothies, uh, there's all different kinds. You can buy hundreds of books now on smoothies. And usually they're made with fruit and, and greens because people won't eat the greens by themselves. But by mixing the the Metafast, the chocolate shake, especially this, this chocolate shake and that green smoothie is my very favorite meal. So if I have the green smoothie before I leave for work, if I'm getting a late start, as I often do, or um, then I'll have the soup with me and I'll have a shake with me, and we're ready then for the 6 o'clock meal. We're already over our 10 minutes, so let's stop this one and we'll go to an evening meal.